Howdy folks. Some of the things I had to gloss over yesterday was the uh, instruction manual here that comes with the longer uh, LK5 Pro. And it's really, it's, a, it's a, like I said, it's a no-brainer, but here's the instructions and you've got steps to assemble it and then you've got some great stuff here for software if you want to install it in your computer and plug the computer directly into this and you know download your or, uh, download your file I guess we'll call it that to put it in the machine in order to you know print a project or something but they have a really nice detailed list here on how to get uh, bed leveling and get the right amount of layer that first layer that goes down on the bed when you first start your printer up and also the printer has a specific program in here just for leveling the bed and the program works really well it the, the machine sets up really easily and so far from what I can see it's I've made let's see one two three four four items have come off the printer so far just small things because uh, we have a little time crunch problem I wanted to build something you know big, but it, it takes days sometimes when you do that and I'm trying to get this out the message out to you guys so I am building something big today and this is a rack for holding a set of headphones around a computer and I really like them I've even given a few of them away to friends and they love them so I you know I'm gonna make another one the other thing I want to make uh, will be I'm gonna put a little cap up here I think and put this SD card in like that or something so that I can just use a full-size SD card in and out and I will see if I can provide a link uh, for this product. Uh, I have purchased a couple of them now and I've used them on my 3D printers over the years so that I don't have to take that little micro SD card in and out of the machine. Uh, that's just a, it's a pain in the butt. I, I really don't like them. But I guess for cost for uh, manufacturing and stuff, this is probably one of the most efficient ways to do something. So the manufacturers like to do this. The big thing with the longer uh, LK5 Pro is not just the size and everything, the company's been around for a while. So this is something that you can trust. You're not buying uh, an overnight you know, company that uh, is just a startup or something. This, is, uh, this represents one of the many printers that they have built over the years and this one is, uh, I think it's been out, I'm going to say a little over, I believe a little over a year I believe on the market. It might be a little bit longer than that. Uh, maybe comment below if you know exactly how long the LK5 Pro has been available. But it's it's a good machine and it, it's easy to put together. It's working great. It looks you know durable. What I really like is the sound. It is smooth and it's quiet, and that essentially for me is really kind of uh, says a lot about the quality of the printer and also that it will hopefully last a long time. Uh, one of my little cheats here if you get dust around a printer and right now I'm in a garage environment which is really bad and we're sort of you know running the machine I guess you could say under a stressful <laughs> situation with environment between uh, no control is to use one of these little cheap paint brushes and I just use this to knock any dust away from the machine that I see while I'm running because a lot of times up on the bed or something you'll see a piece of dust and you just like just like get it out of there because you don't want interfering with a print that you're making. You want the best possible print at all times, of course. And the other thing they included, like I said, was this really nice tool here. That was that was pretty cool. We got a little wrench. Uh, we also have this. Uh, this is the micro SD card adapter to a full-size USB. And you can work with that, but you have to take the little microchip or a little micro SD card out of there to put it in the side of the back of the machine here in order to have the programs up here to run. So, I, like I said, I'm going to come up with something that will uh, offer it like that or get around it somehow. So you can just put an SD card in from the front, call up the program you want to print, and begin printing. The other thing I've got here, this is a really weird looking spool situation here. It feeds kind of off the side a little bit on a 45 degree angle. And it also has a sensor up the front here. So if you run out of filament, the machine will automatically stop and wait for you to refill the filament and start up again. Another feature that I, I think, you know, I'm trying to cover everything I get quickly because there's just a lot to talk about and you only get so much time with this, uh, this sort of thing. Uh, so far, I have to admit, I'm, since the, the thing come out of the box, I have been very impressed with everything from the assembly to running to the sound of the machine 
and uh, again even with part two here I'm going to include a discount code and a link down below to where you could order or purchase this printer if you'd like to have one yourself the 3d printers at home I have produced so many videos now with projects uh, for woodworkers and making your own tools or doing a repair around the house or doing a repair on an RV uh, door in one case uh, just things that are made of plastic that break or get lost and you go to the 3d printer and say hey I'll just make one or I'll make three so I'll have a spare it's uh, a 3d printer around the house is really a handy item and it's some cool technology to learn that once you have this in place and you learn it a little bit you can do so much with it it's it's really it's a no-brainer almost you know it's almost a no-brainer so far working with the LK5 Pro uh, this has been a real game changer uh, you can go to the home here on the touch screen uh, go to tweak so you can you know make changes and settings uh, check your filament it needs to pause printing do you want to pause the print you can pause but in this case I'm not going to because there's no reason to but uh, we'll go back to the home and here's the information right here the nozzle is running at 200 uh, Celsius with a 60 degree Celsius uh, heated bed of course which is uh, an item that you really need for a 3d printer is a good heated bed anyways so that's the some of the software that you can work off of with the touch screen there's like six uh, programs in there for uh, tweaking uh, the limits, uh, the uh, checking the filament, setting up the job, leveling the bed. Leveling the bed is big, but this one here was really easy, and it makes it really easy because you just dial the bed in really quickly at the very beginning, which we did uh, the other day. And since then, the bed is showing absolute perfect for for what it's set at. So I'm really happy with the first the first layers going down are showing up like nice lines like book perfect I guess we'll say and it is a brand new machine so I think it should work like a brand new machine should <laughs> yeah. the uh, other thing too uh, over the next few weeks we'll probably hit some more 3d printing uh, 3d printing you, you can never get enough of it it's always fascinating to watch the machine sit there and put layer by layer down on these things uh, how about some time-lapse photography real quick and just take a quick look at the machine in action So that was a lot of uh, high-speed motion, whatever, in printing. Here's the finished product, and you can see it's a uh, pretty decent size. Uh, the gang over at uh, Longer had asked about making something decent of, for size for the demo, and we did. And here it is. It's, it's a good size. Got a little bit of hair on the end of it here, probably just some scraggling. Yeah. Other than that, it's a good, clean model. It's a really nice model. And this is uh, something that's handy around the computers, the studio, whatever, is to have something that you can, you know, hang your headphones on. So I decided I, decided I would just go ahead and build that. Next week, when I get a chance, I'm going to design something here to cap out on this so that we can put that SD card slot right up in here. So we can just load the SD right in front, you know, a full-size SD card, and just load it right in front. The overall review on the uh, longer uh, LK5 Pro is basically that for the money, it's a really terrific 3D printer. And so I think that's where we're at. It seems to be very stable, very quiet. It looks to me like it'll stay together for a very long time, give you years of use. And the other thing I mentioned the other uh, yesterday, and I wanted to talk just a little bit about it, is I have seen this printer run uh, ABS plastic and that's that's something again I have the printers I have will not run ABS this one tweaked a little bit but it will run ABS and of course the, apparently it can uh, it's capable of PETG and a few of the other uh, more exotic I guess we'll call it uh, plastics but normally I stick with PLA or PLA plus is generally what I'm uh, working with uh, with 3d printers uh, such as this this is you know this is PLA this is everything you need in a printer 
Guys, gals, thanks for watching Coffee and Tools this week. This is uh, part two of the review and uh, testing the machine is, you know, give her, give her a little go around and see how she does. She did really, did really well. Uh, in the description below, of course, there's a link to purchase the machine and get a uh, discount, 10% uh, off coupon discount code is given. So if you're interested, hey, great, great buy. In the meantime, uh, next week I will see what I can do about building something to upgrade for a full-size SD card and we'll probably come back with something else. That's the only, uh, and this, again, that's an interesting thought. That's the only upgrade that I can really see. Everything else here, I'm pretty happy with it. It seems to work great, you know. So, until next time, please like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Coffee and Tools, over and out.